you have your home listed on the market, but nobody's coming to see it, and nobody's even looking at it online. Have you thought about staging? Okay, so first things first. I haven't published in a couple of weeks, and I'm sorry about that. This vlogging thing, it's a little bit of a learning curve. Buyers today expect a lot more when they're going to see a home both in person and online. Full disclosure, for a long time I thought that home staging was a very expensive and unnecessary way of trying to get your home sold. But we live in the age of HGTV. Buyers today expect a lot more when they're going to see a home both in person and online. It's a topic I'm still wrapping my head around. My friend Jocelyn is a genius with this stuff. So we sat down, had a coffee, and had a little chat about it. Like when you go into a house, yeah. what are the what are the common mistakes that you see people make? Well, I think the biggest thing is um, it's their home, so they are obviously very used to it. So they maybe overlook the flaws. They don't see them anymore. They get, you know, just blind to them. Okay. Or and uh, and then they also don't see the awesomeness of their house anymore either. If that's a word. They just they get bored. So um, yeah, the furniture is misplaced. Um, there's no flow. They just get used to living a certain way. Yeah. So instead of enhancing the windows, enhancing the windows, they've got them covered up. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean the biggest thing people are looking for when they're buying is a neutral palette. So, you know, they have these funky colors that work for them and they can do that in their next house. But a buyer, they want them even ready. So yeah. that's a big mistake a lot of people make they don't want to paint. It's money in a can, like it's super economical way to make a massive difference and give the buyer what they want. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big one. Um, yeah, you know, people are a little biased when it comes to their own stuff. And uh, so they got to think of the demographic they're selling to. That's a big thing. Because they do have wonderful pieces and awesome things that we can put in their next house. But maybe the buyer's 25 years younger. And right. Looking yeah, looking something. at who's going to be buying the house yeah. as opposed to... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Looking for something a little bit more contemporary. Yep. Yeah, that's probably the biggest thing. Just okay. get used to their own things. GTV, they would yeah. say, depersonalize the home. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Do you're a strong proponent of that? I am. Are yeah, you? there's a few reasons for that. I mean, the, the biggest is you're selling it to someone else. So once your house is listed, it's no longer yours. You're trying to appeal to that potential buyer. So if you've got pictures of your wedding or your beautiful children, um, it's hard to feel connected to that space. The idea with staging or the idea with selling a home is to have that person fall in love with that house. Yeah. And it's hard to when they see your family there. So you want to pitch your home there. Oh, for sure. I mean, most most of the time you can work with people's things. Like, okay. and maybe they'd rent a piece of art off me or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we do vacants for sure. Yeah. Um, where we just bring in everything and create a home, create a space. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's pretty okay. Cool. But you're saying for the most part, people actually you you'll use their stuff or yeah. most of their stuff. Oh, absolutely. So I think because people get pretty intimidated by oh, it's the cost. Yeah. Well, maybe not even the cost, but all of a sudden they're living in a strange environment. Yeah. Because it's none of their stuff anymore, and I think right. that's maybe that people's perceptions as opposed to people's actual like the, the reality of it. Yeah, yeah. It can feel pretty overwhelming, and I you know it can feel invasive too, like coming in and thinking all oh, your stuff isn't good enough for this you know it's certainly not commentary to anyone's lifestyle yeah. it's just what we think will help sell the home the fastest that's everyone's goal we all have the same goal so if, as long as we get on the same page there right. it, it flows really well and again it's just bringing it back to trying to attract yeah. the most likely buyers yeah so exactly. which is a huge thing yeah no you can definitely use uh, people's furnishings people's decor um, yeah sometimes they just need a little piece here or there that's the goal, right? It's stress, uh, stress-free as possible. Just so if you're on the market now or you're thinking of selling your home, why should you consider home staging? It works.